me. I just wanted to talk a little bit today about um, how you can get involved in our Coast Watchers timeline, uh, which is a uh, which is creating a visual record of, of how the far coast is, is changing, is changing over time, and how the coastal environment um, is, is updating, you know, from a day to day, year to day, month to month basis, and how you can get involved in that. So I'm just going to take you straight to the uh, Visit Far Coast website. Bear with me while I um, share my screen. This works. OK, OK, so um, as many of you know, um, many of you will have heard about Coast Watchers before or will have, will have at least seen it advertised on the Visit Far Coast website. Um, but I'm just going to show you how, how where you can find Coast Watchers and then how you can upload your own photos to our timeline as well. So if you head over to the uh, Visit Far Coast homepage like I am now um, and then head over to the environment portal, uh, you'll see the drop down menu with Coast Watchers underneath it. And what we're looking at today is the photo timeline where my, uh, where my mouse is now. So if we click on that, what we'll see are a, is a collection of photographs that have been submitted by you um, and, and people who live along the Fylde Coast uh, from, from sort of, uh, well, that's a couple of days ago on March the 21st um, at Blackpool Pier, right down if we keep scrolling down, if it keeps up with me. Um, right down, so I think it's back to 2018 or 2019 is when the first first photos were, were submitted. OK, so we've got a we've got a sort of a visual record of, of things that are changing in the um, in, 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 in the physical and, and natural coastal environment, with things like erosion, um, uh, dune, uh, sand dune change, um, erosion around the around the sea walls salt marsh change and wildlife um, and, and lots and lots of variation in these pictures and these are fantastic uh, in order for us to understand and, and learn about how the how the coastal environment is, is changing okay so what i want to do is talk about a couple of photos that have already been submitted uh, and, and, and talk about how they're actually useful in order for us to, to understand and, and learn about what's going on in the in the coastal environment so i've just head down now to march the third to some photos that ted bottomley um, uploaded uh, if we can find them. Here we go. Okay, so Ted uploaded a series of three photographs which show how the tide comes in over on Russell Beach. Uh, once it's loaded, what I'll do is I'll just zoom in a little bit. Okay. Okay, and this is the first photograph that, that Ted has submitted. OK, so we can see uh, we can see the, a couple of the groins here in the photograph um, and the tide as it's, it's sort of coming in around the back of this sandbar here. So these sandbars are the, the intertidal bars, which you'll know about on, on Cleveland's Beach. And these are the raised raised areas which you'll see on Cleveland's Beach. OK, so uh, the tide is coming in and it's, it's cutting through these bars and it's coming, coming around the back of it. You can see it through this drainage channel here. And it's coming into the into this channel uh, behind, so it's flooding, flooding around the around the bar and cutting this sort of raised area off, right? Okay, so if we go through to the, the next picture, which is a few minutes later, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's what I want to do. Okay, okay, so this is the second picture against the against the inside of the groin. You can see how this channel is really sort of uh, flooded a little bit more now. Uh, so the, 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 the sandbar is really, really cut off um, and that water is coming in and coming in round the back here and flooding around the outside. And if you look in this third photograph over on the right hand side, you can see how the, the bar, this raised area, we can, we can barely see it anymore. It's been completely submerged by the incoming tide. And you've actually got some breaking waves and some bores um, over the top of, the, of where that bar was. And this has some serious beach safety implications that are really important for um for, for Russell and, and, and Cleveland's beach because you can you imagine if you if you were standing on this on this on this sandbar where my where my mouse is now and you didn't realize that the tide was coming in or you were you were further out on a on another sandbar you know perhaps 100 200 meters down the beach and the tide started coming in behind you and filled up behind you, you you're in some pretty serious danger and you know trouble of um of, of, of getting stranded um so yeah so that's really nice to see and this, this, these series of photos have actually only been taken over a five minute period. So it just shows the speed of the tide that's coming in and the dangers that are present on, um, on Cleveland's beach. 
So if I go back to the timeline and just look at some, some of the other different photos that are, that are coming in. So yes, whilst we've got some of the uh, photographs in the sort of the, in a physical coastal environment, there are also some lovely photographs. So just reset that. In the natural coastal environment, we're going to look at um, a photo now from Sue Massey, um, which was submitted around about similar time. If we can find it, March 12th. Come on. There we go. OK, so this is a great photo which was taken down at Lytham and shows a group of um, a group of uh, sandlings on the beach. And this is fantastic because it shows us uh, you know, it gives us a visual visual evidence that these these migratory sandlings were present on the beach at this time along the far coast. And we can perhaps uh, look at the numbers that were there and compare this to future years and see and track their migratory path or uh, and, and understand numbers that are changing over time. So this is great. It gives us a good idea of of, of sort of um, the, the species that are that are living on the far coast and, um, and and benefiting from the fantastic environment that we that we that we have. Okay. And the last thing that I wanted to say about some of the photographs, some of them are perhaps less useful. So, for instance, this photograph here, uh, perhaps less useful for, for our actual sort of scientific understanding of what's happening on the far coast. But this absolutely beautiful photograph, and who doesn't love looking at, you know, a, a gorgeous sunset or a sunrise photograph over the far coast? Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, we love to see that. OK, so how can you actually get involved in submitting your photographs to this timeline? and get your name on the um, on the photographs that you've submitted. So again, if we go back up to this environment tab, OK, you'll see there is a there is a section where my mouse is now uh, that says submit a photo. So all you do is click on this on the submit a photo and the following submission form will will appear. OK, so there's a title that says submit your seafront photos and add your photos below. So there's a form here that you, you need to fill out. Um, in order to get your photographs on the timeline. Um, so you just type in your name. I've already done that here. Now, the photograph I'm going to use, I've got just here. And I, I took it uh, in, in November 2018 on Russell Beach. And uh, you may think, oh, this photograph's not very interesting. But if you look a little bit closely, you sort of see these, these lovely sort of symmetrical patterns on the beach. All right. You can see my mouse going up and down. All right, you see these sort of dark and light areas. Now, and these are these are called beach cusps, and these are sort of uh, regular patterns or of small embayments, if you like, uh, that are found on um, on steeply sloped and, and gravel beaches, uh, like like Russell, and they form due to an interaction between the um, between the between the waves and the and the sediment. Okay, so if I want to submit this photograph. What I need to do is I need to, uh, to note down what time it was it was taken. So it was, it was half 12 on 14th of November. OK, so if I type in where was the photo taken, it was Russell Beach. Okay. Now, date, it was the 14th of the 11th, uh, 2018. And then I'm going to type in the, uh, the, the time according to the format that's listed below. So it was it. 12.30 and then get to upload my photo. That's very easy if you've got it downloaded onto your computer, onto your computer, which I have here. This is top photograph. I've double clicked on it. And it's now uploaded. And you should be able to see it. Come on. It should be, it should be working. There we go. And you can also upload additional photos if you like. So for instance, as Ted, as you saw with Ted, he uploaded a series of three photographs to show his change over time. You can do a similar thing if you like um, and just show, uh, show multiple things on the beach from your from your walks um, or whatever. Um, you can then add comments. So I will add a comment saying uh, beach cusps. Beach or beach cusps. That will do for now. Then type in your email address for verification. Click agree. Click the submit button um, and it will take you to a page. So if I submit this. Come on. There we go. You'll get a notification that says it's been submitted. It will be reviewed um, and either Jane or Kevin will, will post that at the top. Uh, well, it won't be at the top. It will be um, 
embedded within the within the timeline at the correct date. So if we're looking at March 19, 2021, obviously my 2018 photo will be right down the bottom. Uh, but hopefully we'll find that within it once that's been um, once that's been uploaded. So yeah, thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing all of your all of your photographs and all of your contributions that will help to add to our sort of understanding of, of how clearly these beach is changing over time and the monitoring efforts that are, that are, that are going on. Just a bit of beach safety um, and a bit of a disclaimer. You know, whilst we want to see your photographs of, of, of storms and of, of incoming tides, don't put yourself um, in any position that will cause any any added risk to yourself. Um, you know, we don't want any any any, any fatalities from submitting photographs to the Coast Watch's timeline. But yes, um, thank you very much.